What's up guys and welcome to episode 10 of Bonda Inku's Blood Rage painting series. Today we'll be painting the Valkyrie as voted for over on Patreon. To start things off, I base coat all our skin using Sunny Skin Tone. I then washed down the skin with a 1 to 1 mix of Rykum Flesh Shade and Seraphim Sepia. After that wash had fully dried, I came back with Sunny Skin Tone to create some highlights. After that, I base coated the inside of her animal skin using Magic Blue and followed that up with a couple washes of Drakenhoff Nightshade. After that shade had fully dried, I came back with Magic Blue to reestablish that mid-tone and then used some Electric Blue to apply some edge highlights and do a little wet blending to finish things off. I then base coated all the fur using whole red. Then while that fur was drying, I base coated the hair with some flat red and the armor, boots, and emblems with Beastie Brown.
I then started picking out all the details of the fur by applying a dry brush of a 2 to 1 mix of whole red and sunny skin tone, and then followed that up by adding a little bit of dead white to that mix and applying another dry brush over top of that to further bring out those details. I then washed down the hair using Caribou Crimson. After that, I washed down the boots, armor, and emblems with some Agrax Earthshade, and then mixed together an equal mix of Caribou Crimson, Agrax Earthshade, and wash base, and used that to wash down the fur. After that, I picked out all the details of the hair using Orange Fire. I then used Marlara Chrome to base coat all the silver parts. I then washed down all that chrome using some known oil. Then after that wash had fully dried, I came back with some chrome and picked out those fine details. I then used brass to pick out the emblems on her helmet and shield, as well as some of the emblems in her fur and on her waist.
I then used some smoky ink to wash down all that brass, as well as apply it to some of the chrome areas to give them a dirty, grimy look. After that, I used solid gold to highlight all the brass areas, and then used some black metal to base coat the back of the shield, the trim, and the spear handle. For those who don't have this black metal, you can make approximately the same effect by using a 2 to 1 mix of black and your favorite silver, followed by a gloss or satin varnish. I then used a 1 to 1 mix of Beastie Brown and Sonya Skin Tone to pick out some of the bands on the boots and belts, as well as base coat that sword handle. I then washed down the sword handle with some Agrax Earthshade. I then base coated the sheath using flat red and then created a smooth transition from flat red to orange fire by two brush blending on a one to one mix of flat red and orange fire followed up by blending on some straight orange fire. I then of course finished it all off by painting the base black. And with that, the Valkyrie is now complete. Thank you all for joining, a special thanks to all my patrons who helped pick out this model for the month. If you'd like to help pick out which models are coming up next, be sure to head over and join us on Patreon. Again, thank you all for joining, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you on the next one. Valkyrie complete! Bundle out!